Hello, all you metal peoples out there. How are you? I am your big buddy, Gene Hoagland, one of the more metal guys you'll ever know, and I'm here to tell you what this day in metal has occurred over the past few years. What happened on this day in metal? It is currently March 21st, 2018. I'm here backstage with my buddy, Alex Goldman. Hi, Alex. Hey. And we're about to go on stage with Testament here in a couple minutes, so I figured I'd bash this out real quick for you. On this date, March 21st, 1977, ACDC released the album Let There Be Rock in Australia. By the way, that was Mrs. Billy, Tiff Billy, just jumped in there. She's our production assistant. And on March 21st, 1980, the mighty Judas Priest released the uh, not-so-mighty single, Living After Midnight. That's pretty cool. Off the fucking amazing album, British Steel. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now that's mighty. And on March 21st, 1995, Death released Symbolic. How cool is that? What a great record, goddammit. And let me see, what else? March 21st, 2000. Mr. Dio released the album Magica. What a trippy record that was, eh? Cool. And on March 21st, the year 2000, Pantera released their last studio album, Reinventing the Steel. And on March 21st, 2006, the blood-curdling Cannibal Corpse released their incredible album, Kill. And on March 21st, 2011, one of my all-time favorite thrash bands, Artillery, released the album, My Blood. And I gotta tell you, their um, uh, Terror Squad record is one of the greatest thrash albums of all time. But that was released in 1987, not 2011. Anyway, so there you go. That's what happened on this day in metal. We're about to hit the stage. Everybody say hi to Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, guys, thank you. We'll see you. Bye-bye.